Hello and welcome back. So in the last episode we made this rather wonderful tattoo which we've placed on the arm of our Uma. However, there's something that's not quite right here. Um, and what I want to look at is optimizing this. And by optimizing this, um, if we have a look at this fish tattoo as a, a bitmap or as an image, um, one thing that jumps out straight away is that we've got this tiny little area that actually contains the tattoo and the rest of the image is wasted space. Now it may not seem like anything and again once it's been processed and overlaid onto our character it's not taking up any more memory. However this is a 4 megabyte file for this tiny tiny little image. Um, not good. Well Uma has a way of optimizing this so we can take a small portion or a smaller image and offset it within this larger rectangle. And just in case you didn't realize, the reason we have this is this is made to match the entire body texture. So if you look at the body texture, you'll find there's an arm here, there's an arm here, the legs are down here, and the torso is up here. So this is why we're in this situation. So I'm going to hop over into an image editor, and we're going to snip this out and make a much more efficient tattoo to fit onto our character. So here I am in my image editor, um, in the spirit of Uma, um, I'm using GIMP, a nice free image editor, but uh, you can use uh, PaintShop Pro, Photoshop, whatever you like. They all have a very similar feature to the one I'm going to use. So first thing I want to do is snip this image out, okay? Um, so I'm going to use my selection. Now what we've got to do here, we've got to be aware of the sizes that we've got, so that we know how far to offset this value so we need to record our sizes and be quite precise with this um, and in order to do that I'm actually going to snip out a very specific area or a very specific size um, so over here if I select the, the box selection tool I can actually set a fixed size um, of area that I want to select so here I'm, I'm actually going to say I want um, a 256 by 256 size box and when I move over and I click, you can see I get a 256, 256 box. And I'm just going to hover that over my fish tattoo uh, in a set position. That looks great. So I know, and I'm going to write these down, I know that I've got a 256 by 256 area. And my position is 15941132. And that's the position from the top left hand corner to the top left hand corner of my selection area. So make sure you write these down. We're going to use these in the next part of this tutorial. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use the image and crop to selection. So that's reduced my image down to a 256 by 256 image. I'm then going to save that out back into Unity. Okay, so once I've imported this back into Unity, um, you can see there's my original image and this is the one I've just imported. Um, I just quickly need to change outfit is transparency. There we go. And you'll see straight away the huge difference in size. So I'm now at 85 kilobyte image instead of a 4 megabyte image. So massive, massive saving we've got here. So how do we actually get this to fit on a certain part of our base overlay? Well, it's all to do with this rect value here that is in our overlay. So at the moment it's set to zero, um, but we're going to use this to create our offsets and sizes that will make this fit in the right place. Now, before we do that, we need to have a little look at uh, one of the problems we've got with this, because we can't just type in those values we recorded. So what we've got is a texture image, which is two or 2048 by 2048. Um, and in there we have a small region which we know is 256 by 256. We have recorded our coordinates from this top corner and you'll find most image processing applications work this way. Um, and we happen to know that it's 1590 by 1128. Those are the sizes we recorded. Okay. However, Unity wants the texture from this bottom corner. So our X value is fine but we need to invert from this bottom corner to here. So 
So we need to invert our measurements. So it's pretty easy to do with the maths, it's just a pain that you have to do it. So we can work this out. So we know with 2048 um, minus this 1128 minus our 256, that will give us our 664, which is the offset to this bottom corner. So our offset is 1590664. Okay. So let's head back over here into Unity. First thing, let's just put our new fish tattoo texture in here. If we run now, you will see this gets overlaid on the entirety and looks completely wrong. So we need to alter our rect values to sort this out. So first thing we need to do, let's put in our 1590 and our 664 value. So that's the coordinates to our bottom left hand corner. And we will also give our texture size, which was 256 by 256. Now you'd be forgiven for thinking that this would just work. Um, <laughs> and it doesn't. So when I run again, that has had absolutely no effect. And the reason being, these values aren't updated live, okay? When we put our overlay into our wardrobe recipe, let's just have a look. You can see here's the torso and here is our um, overlay. Um, the texture's been updated, but if you look here, this rect value hasn't, okay? So the two options are we can type it in here, or as I much prefer to do, let's wipe out that overlay and just drag it across again. And that forces those rect values to be re-read. So now when I hit play, what we should see is the tattoo back in the same place, same quality, but now it's massively reduced size in terms of disk space uh, and memory. Okay, hope you found that helpful and I'll see you next time. And once again, I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons for making this possible. Uh, if you would like to support me, feel free to click that link at the end of the video. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.